I have never any intention to hurt anyone. Dankar Saab is a also in my profession. He is a senior to than me. I do not know why he is taking it on his shoulder itself. I do not know because I my question is does if he if he thinks that there is similarity between the behavior of him and myself. Then my question is, does he behave in this way in, uh, in the Rajya Sabha? I have a great respect for Dhanakarji. Mim mimicry has been done by also the Honorable Prime Minister in the Lok Sabha itself. I can, I can show you, I can show you the video. देखिए ऐसा बारे में मेरे को कुछ पता नहीं है मैंने इसका बारे में कोई टिप्पणी नहीं कटेंगे मैं आज आया मैं आज आया था हम लोग कहा है कि हम लोग बोला था मीटिंग का टाइमलाइन एक होना चाहिए श्री बंदोपाध्याय ने इशू रेस किया था हम लोग बोला था तो उन्होंने कहा है हाँ हाँ हम टाइम बाइंडिंग करेंगे आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस एनीथिंग अबाउट माई पार्लियामेंट्री पार्टी दे आर एन एफ टू रिप्लाई द क्वेश्चन दे आर इज ए सिस्टम I don't interfere in the parliamentary party business. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. And our colleagues continue to be with us. Pallavi has been tracking developments as far as reactions of the opposition is concerned. Arunama also tracking developments as far as even what the legislative business that is taking place on the floor of the House. Pallavi, coming to you first. Yesterday, there was a very crucial meeting as far as the India Alliance is concerned. As you were pointing out a short while ago, that the suspensions now seems to have taken a backseat because of how the BJP has gone forward with the Kalyan Banerjee episode. But as far as the suspensions is concerned, what was discussed? We in the opposition meeting and what is their plan to take it forward well i mean the meeting actually began with the backdrop of suspensions that was a speech which was also given by the congress president mr malika jun karge yesterday at that meeting today also sonia gandhi made a reference to it and on the suspensions they all say that you know there's evidence for us to see that how constitution principles and democracy has been completely compromised and we need to go to the people with this issue which is why on 22nd which is the last day of the winter session they plan to hold a massive protest this is of course going to be followed up even after the session is over of having similar protests dharnas and press conferences in every of the state capitals especially where the india front partners are very strong like in bengal whether they are in uh, bihar and so on and so forth so as far as the opposition is concerned they think that they have a strong issue in the hand and also mind you india front the entire idea and the nomenclature was given on the basis of the fact that these are the parties which represent the true spirit inclusive spirit of india and also they are the ones who can save democracy and you know a vote for them would mean a vote for democracy and yesterday also they said you know everyone being suspended just goes on to show the fact that this is exactly what we have been talking about there is no freedom to speak inside the house there is no freedom for people people outside people are arbitrarily picked up and laws are slapped on them uapa and so on and so forth ed and cbi are misused so this is going to be the fulcrum of the electoral slogan and the common minimum program whenever it's going to be drawn up for the 2024 lok sabha elections true palavi stay on with us getting arunama also back in the conversation arunama considering the fact uh, you know jagdeep dhankar also mentioned that he's had a telephonic conversation with the prime minister and the prime minister making the larger point that i've also been at the receiving end of insults like this you know uh, the cast card being played that you know all of our positions have been insulted but that shouldn't be a deterrent how important does that become as far as the bjp's own narrative is concerned Oh, this is a full-out politics that is now happening. You're seeing, uh, you know, the vice president's reaction. Uh, he did say that you're insulting me as a jat. You're insulting me as somebody who comes from agricultural background, from a humble background. I could have taken if you were if you were insulting just me as a person, mm -hmm. but you're insulting a lot of other people associated, including the institution of the vice president, the institution of the chairperson of the Rajya Sabha. Uh, you know, for for Bengal politicians, this may not make a difference, but for a pan-India party like Congress, which has vote banks, are uh, in in 
in the Jat community, which has vote bank in the agricultural uh, based sector. Uh, in northern part of, of the country, there's already a Mahapanchayat that is being threatened uh, by the Jat leaders, saying that if, if Kalyan Manager does not apologize, we will call a Mahapanchayat and the action uh, would be demanded. Uh, so for, for West Bengal politicians, uh, this may not have that much of, of a uh, you know, cascading effect. But for the rest of the MPs who were present there, Manoj Jha was, was seen there, uh, you know, KC Venugopal was seen there, Ra Rahul Gandhi, of course, is at the centre of the storm. Uh, so for the Congress party, I think it is it is a much more slippery slope. And that's why in every attack against Kalyan Manaji, Rahul Gandhi's name is being underlined by the Bharti Janta Party because they realise there is more political damage that the Congress will face because of this. Going back to Pallavi, Pallavi, all of this started post the parliament security breach that happened on the 13th of December where the opposition continued to demand and response either from the Home Minister or the Prime Minister. Considering the fact the suspension has taken a backseat, unfortunately, what is the Congress's plan or the opposition's plan as far as questions around the security breach is concerned? Well, I mean, they are uh, they are connecting the suspension with the fact that we have been suspended because we asked a question uh, which has got to do with the national security. In fact, yesterday, if you would have listened to a press conference, in fact, Mamta Banerjee also, when she addressed the media day before, she said if they cannot protect the parliament, how can they protect the people of India? National security, national interest, anti-terror ops, those have always been a very sticky wicket on which the opposition has been caught on by the BJP. Here, they've seized a chance and opportunity to hit back at the BJP but it's clearly not going completely according to plans so they're going to try and bring back the narrative to parliament breach how people are not safe but also the larger issue of uh, unemployment to a certain extent which Rahul Gandhi pointed about but they're a little cagey about that mm. and also uh, the suspensions uh, the fulcrum of India Front Alliance and I'm going back to the, the it repeatedly has been on saving democracy these large-scale suspensions are going to be used in the days to come even more so to make the point that this is what we told you this is if they can treat MPs like this imagine how are they going to treat the common citizen true we'll request our colleagues to stay on with us this is the big story that we'll keep tracking we have some other reactions now coming in ये देखिए वो पर्पजली सबको सस्पेंड करके कोई अपोजिशन के नेताओं ने हाउस में नहीं आना और चर्चा में हिस्सा नहीं लेना उनके जो तीन बुरे कानून आ रहे क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर के ये इसको कोई विरोध नहीं करना ये उनका मंशा है एक एक डिक्टेटरशिप चलाने की वो कोशिश कर रहे हैं और ये डेमोक्रेसी में नहीं चलेगा आज नहीं कल उनको ये भारी पड़ेगा फिर कल भी हम ऐसा ही प्रोटेस्ट करेंगे जब तक वो खुद आके सबको सस्पेंड सबका सस्पेंड रिवोकेशन करके चर्चा को जब तक वो मान्यता नहीं देंगे तब तक ये चलते रहेगा principal responsibility of the council of ministers in a parliamentary democracy is accountability to parliament when the parliamentary security breach occurred it would have been their responsibility for the home minister to come and to actually address the parliament 